Hey Foreverlies, it's just Maddie for now. Everly will be in this video too. I am sweating my butt off because I just vacuumed out my car, but I am currently sitting in front of the car dealership. I'm gonna be getting a new car. Um, this Jeep is my baby, but, oh, it's been so hard to decide, but I really need something new. I love it, but it's just time for something new. I want something that's cheaper and also a little bit more eco-friendly because right now my car is getting like 13 miles per gallon and it's just really not working for me. So I'm gonna see what I can get to trade in my baby car. I love this car. Initially, I wanted to, oh, my parking's crooked. Oops. Initially, I wanted to um, pay off this car and keep it forever, but I was literally 15 when I bought it. And I did not know much about cars and how much it actually is to pay off a car. So I wanna get something cheaper. I wanna get something used because I bought my car brand new at the ticket price. I'm gonna be a bit smarter about buying a car this time. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get. To be completely honest, I'd like a Jeep. I don't want like a, I don't want a small car. I don't want like a sedan. I think that's how you say it. I really like Jeeps. I also don't want a minivan. I'd like to have like a, I'm not too sure what I want. I want another Jeep, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be what I end up getting because it's not what I need. But if I can find a Jeep I like, I'm getting another Jeep. I'm going to go in and see what my trade-in value is. I might, I might have to get a mom car. I may have to get a mom car or a truck. I'd like a truck too, but I want something with a good mile per gallon. So, I don't know. We're going to go in and see what they say. See if my car is even worth anything anymore. At the dealership, having lunch, coffee, and a bag of chips. My butt. My butt is so sweaty. So, I'm out in the lot just looking at the cars. I can trade in my Jeep. Um, but... The Wranglers are super expensive right now, and I don't really want a sedan. I told myself before I came in, I don't want a sedan, I'm not gonna buy a sedan. I like it. I don't know. Another option. Am I too short to drive a truck? I feel like I look out of place next to a truck. Mom car. I could get a mom car. Maybe I need a mom car. <sighs> I'm not a huge like red car person, but oh, I would usually make fun of somebody driving a truck like this. But oh my god, that's nice. Seventy three thousand dollars. I would never buy an F one fifty. If I ever buy an F one fifty, unsubscribe. I just want to know who's going to design this like nice, big, manly macho truck with these tiny little tires on it. Tiny little tires with no tread. Tiny little no tread tires. Ridiculous. Disgusting. I'm just... No. I feel like this is me as a car, if that makes sense. Just like little, kind of ugly, but still works. It's definitely a car. Do I get the little ugly car? I feel like I relate to it. Like I can kind of, I can sympathize with it. This car is like suspiciously cheap. It's 19 grand for like really nice Dodge Challenger. I feel like I look like a cop or try hard. Probably both. They have a Camaro for 22,000, but I don't think it can go over speed bumps. I could get a BMW, a Beamer Boy. It could be a Beamer Boy for 20 grand. The Jeeps here are like 60 grand. Everybody's just paying so much for Jeeps right now. Honestly, that's, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a BMW, so it'll look pretty cool. But once again, I don't think it can go over speed bumps. 
I'm at another dealership right now and their cars seem to be a lot cheaper. So I'm very happy. $29.99. With a comma. It's nice though. Very nice. Touch screen. But I just looked at a red Jeep. It's over there. It's beautiful. So freaking beautiful. But they also have um, a purple Jeep that I will not no it's just this is so cool it's so tempting but it looks like it only has two seats i don't think the back goes up but it's a corvette probably can't go over a speed bump either okay i i don't know why but i'm really tempted to buy this range rover it's 28 grand a lot cheaper than the other stuff at the other dealership it's really nice it's got 67 thousand miles on it but the other Jeep I was looking at had 100,000. Then again, it's a Jeep. Looks like you can go over a speed bump. Ooh. This comes off though. What? I don't know why, but I'm always so interested in unique cars. It's a Jaguar. Don't know what that means. It's cool though. That is bougie. That is really cool looking. Is that a convertible? I cannot tell. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, is that a sun? Convertible roof. It's a convertible. At first it was fun, now I'm just tired. So tired. I'm so hungry, but I don't have the energy to drive myself through McDonald's to get a fish fillet. But I'm at my third car loop. I can't even speak anymore. Wow, nice. I'm at my third car dealership of the day. Car shopping is so hard. And apparently right now there's a shortage of chips for the cars. Everyone's freaking out and buying cars and there's not enough. Ugh. Going into another car dealership. May start crying in their bathroom. Not sure. Let's go find out. I don't, I hate this. I have one croc in attack mode, one regular, and I'm not gonna fix it. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, never mind. It's a beetle. Look at this. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm about to scan the code to see this car still available? This is still available. I'm buying it. It's not available. I can get a mini pooper and make everybody hate me. Maybe. I'm honestly just gonna get this, have like 12 kids, and start a reality TV show. Imagine me, sitting on a red light, burrito all over my face. Like this, basically. I look over to see like, if the other cars are going. And this guy's just staring at me and he smiles. I'm just sitting here, chowing down on a Chipotle burrito like a slob, with guacamole, and cheese and beans and everything on my face. He just goes, I'm so embarrassed. I'm, that's so embarrassing. Okay, cool. Just thought y'all should know. But basically, hate car shopping. But I also don't want to have to um, pay. There's such a high monthly payment on my car and so much in interest. But yeah, um, I'm heading to get up early now. It's literally 8 30 and i've been out doing stuff since like 11 o'clock i've been awake and fueled by caffeine for over 12 hours now and people in the car in front of me are looking at me laughing because i'm eating chipotle while driving if any dealerships see this they're probably going to decline my application by car 
because I eat Chipotle and vlog in it. Basically, I'm having a full blow up. I can't even talk. Full blown mental breakdown. It's my first meal of the day, other than coffee and a bag of chips at the dealership. All I ate for breakfast was a cup of coffee. You better slow your roll, Mister. Okay. Well. I apologize for that. So, Everly thinks we should get a pink car. Mm-hmm. She just ate a cookie, so she's got a dirty mouth. But I want... Um, well, I need one that no, I... No, no, no. No, I want this one. Well, I don't think that's one that I can drive. But I want one of these. Well, do you think we can drive that down the highway? We can. Yeah? We can drive this down the highway? Yeah. How fast do you think it goes? Um, very fast. Like how many miles per hour do you think you can get up to? Um, 550. 550 miles per hour? Yes. Wow, that thing must have some insane horsepower. I can dive in this one by my nose and we can dive in this one by the one. Okay, that's perfect. I'm glad you picked that one instead of like that one or one of those because that's that's I think that's a little bit out of my price range. <laughs> you think that's funny? Just two? <laughs> Everly! You smell, dude! Stink. Ew! Don't spit! <laughs> These turn them tomorrow. Oh, we're ordering them and they'll be here tomorrow? Yeah. Perfect. I think. Okay. This one be one. This one and this one. Buy it. Okay, do you have enough money for them? Um, no, no. Oh, I'm paying for it? No, no, paying for it. This is coming out of your savings, dude. And I bought we did this and this. Okay, how much do you think that costs? Um five hundred nine dollars. Fifty hundred nine dollars? No. Fifty hundred dollars. Fifty hundred dollars? Yeah. Yeah? How else I take the money? Oh I don't know if I have fifty hundred dollars. Now I will give you $100. Okay, give it to me right now. Um. I'm waiting. Where's my $100? Um. Um, I will give it to you tomorrow. You're gonna give it to me tomorrow? Yeah. I have a feeling that you don't actually have $100. But I don't give it to you tomorrow. Okay, I'll be waiting, okay? Okay. And I also do the end of the day. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. You've lost your mind. <laughs> and this, I'm on, on dive and this my own. On the highway? Um, yes, but I didn't let you do hit me. No, you think a car's gonna hit you if you bring that on the highway? No, do I don't did it on. Mama, I don't did this fit it out there. Okay, that's probably a better idea. No, do I try to hit me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later now and this is the rest of the vlog, really. Um, this part's not really vlog, it's more like sit down and talk. I was gonna try to make this like fun and upbeat, but I'm actually really upset about the situation. So it's hard to really be fun and upbeat right now. Um, like I said, in my video announcing that I moved out, a lot of things happened that I'm not really ready to talk about or probably won't really talk about. 
it's just a lot and I've kind of, I don't know if I'm ever really going to talk about these things because some of the things that happened, um, people are trying to convince me, not people, like more like a person, I don't know. They're trying to convince me that like I'm the bad guy and all this. So I do feel like I, I was wrong in a way. So it's not really something that I want to share on the internet and it's like a very personal matter. But I still do feel like I was the one in the wrong. So subconsciously, I still do kind of feel like I'm in the wrong and I don't really want to share it. And I feel like it would just be an overreaction to share. And it would really, it would. I'm not really sure if it's something that needs to go on the internet, but without really um, going into too much of it and like being one of those YouTubers who does like all oh, the drama i'm just genuinely hurt right now by this situation that i've been dealing with for a while now and it's just kind of it's really been affecting me but i'll get through so nobody needs to worry about me i'm not sure what i'm gonna end up putting in this video and editing out um so basically i don't have a car anymore i don't know if i'm getting it back like i really don't i just kind of um went outside and i released car seat i released car seat was just kind of like sitting where my car was it doesn't really make sense without all the details but some of the details are things i'm i'm not sure if i'm gonna share or not so there's definitely gonna be holes in the story that you're gonna have to kind of like fill in yourself because obviously I'm not too sure if I wanna talk about it. I was going to try to find another car because I was having some issues with like keeping my car. I mean, COVID hit hard, payments were hard and I, I made a payment. I've been making payments. I haven't made all of them. I've been pretty late. Like I've been close to repo. If I'm being completely honest, I have been close to having my car repoed. I was 15 years old when I got it. And obviously I couldn't finance a car loan in my name. So I had to have my parents do it in their name, not my name. So I am not the owner of the car legally. So from the legal standpoint, I'm not. But whenever I bought the car, my car their car whatever um we got like a super high interest rate it was an expensive car I paid fifty nine thousand dollars for it i believe and i put 15 grand of my own money down and um 15 years old bought it ticket price overpaid for the car i've just been paying interest on the car so right now if i wanted to um sell my car i still i know it's like kind of personal to talk about finances but um, whenever you get a loan, a car loan with a high interest rate, you start paying off the interest first. So you're not actually paying towards the car. So, um, if I wanted to sell my car, I would have to pay off $42,000 of the loan. And I've, I put 15 grand down. So I've just been paying towards the interest on my car. Like I don't actually own anything in the car except for my down payment really from what I've understood. Not too good at the financial car loan stuff. I don't get it, if I'm being completely honest. But from what I understood, I've just been paying the interest on the loan. I don't actually, I haven't been making the payments towards my car, just the interest. Right now, car market is horrible. They're missing like some chip they need to make cars. So if I wanted to even trade in my car, I wouldn't get enough to pay off that loan. So I'd have to pay to get them to take my car basically or sell it. I don't know it doesn't make much sense to me but i'm not the smartest individual so just kind of take what you want from that but the car not in my name and that's if you take away anything from why i don't have it anymore just know it's not in my name i did put my money in this car i have not taken a dime from anybody else every single dollar ten thousand dollars that i put into this car 15 years old, this car was literally everything I had worked for, my pride and joy. <laughs> like, it showed how far I came. It was like a physical 
reminder of how far I've come in life from being this girl with a suicide attempt and then she got pregnant, dropped out, and then I was able to buy my beautiful dream car and it really showed me how far I've come and that was like my physical reminder. And um, I did put all of my own money into it, but since I'm not, my name's not on the title, it's, it had to be under a loan. It's not technically mine. And ethically, it should be mine. Like if from a non-legal standpoint and you look at it and you say, okay, so teen mom buys a car with her own money. It's not in her name, but she wasn't old enough to get a loan. She's made all the payments on it. She's been late, but like missed a few, but put 10 grand of her own money down. Hasn't spent anybody else's money on it. Nobody else is paying for this vehicle. Ethically, I feel like it's my car, but from a legal standpoint, it's not, unfortunately. Um, but I was trying to find a new car. That's what this vlog was about. Day was very stressful. It's when I found out that I couldn't really trade in my car without um, paying basically three to $5,000 to get them to take it, plus like half down on a new car. Um, and then I, I don't know if I'll be getting my car back. It wasn't like taken by the bank or cops or anything. Just know that not in any sort of legal trouble, but I currently don't have one. Um, this happened before and I ended up getting it back, but not too sure this time, honestly, because it's just a lot. I'm not going to go into all the nitty gritty details. So obviously you have to draw your own conclusions. And if you do draw any conclusions, don't like post them everywhere or come for people about the conclusions, please just spread kindness. I just want to share what I'm going through. I'm not trying to get anybody like hated on. If you think a certain person has affected me in a certain way, please just don't don't attack them online because even I mean it might not even be who you're thinking you know but it's just an overall really difficult situation because when you want a car I guess I didn't even really own a car it wasn't even mine the whole time but whenever you're paying for a car in somebody else's name at any moment that car is legally theirs it's legally theirs no matter how much of your money you've paid, especially if you're a minor, especially if you're a minor. You have like no rights as a minor and it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I'm, I didn't think, I was going to be without a car. I thought I had time to find one and buy one because I couldn't just do that like within a week or even a month. I thought things were worked out. Now no longer have a vehicle, I may get it back. I don't know, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. And it just feels like more of a pawn than my car. I've been walking with Everly in the stroller to the grocery store and um, I can get rides from other people. And it's honestly, like I'm not hurt by the fact that I don't have a car, I'm just hurt about the way it happened. Of course, it's hard to not have a car and cars are expensive. And car buying is a stressful process if you're not like very wealthy. And I know everybody assumes I'm this YouTuber with all this money, but I'm not an extremely wealthy person. I do make more money than I should, but in, in the situation I'm in, I it, it's really expensive to buy a car, especially since I don't have any credit history, really. And if I bought a car, I'd basically have to pay cash or do half down and get a horrible interest rate. But I'm in the market for a new car now. I'm just gonna wait until I get paid. I'm just hoping I can buy a car with cash. I'm literally nauseous right now because I'm not even talking about the full situation and it's still just making me feel sick because I'm so scared to talk about it.
yeah sorry for all this sad sappy talk but this is real life and this is what's happening we don't have a car right now <laughs> i get paid in like less than two weeks like a week and a half hopefully i'll get a car then and um yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video sorry it's not like normal content i just kind of started thinking about everything whenever i talked about it. oh look when i get anxiety my arms like they turn i have um Raynaud's disease apparently and this is what happens when i get nervous or cold like all over my body it's called mottled skin but yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I guess this is a normal outro. Um, sorry. <laughs> Please don't attack anybody about the situation. Just know that I've, I keep feeling like I'm stuck in a hard place and it's like a cycle that never ends and I keep just getting stuck and it's hard. It's so hard. I feel like I'm not in control of the things that I should be in control over or that I feel like I should be in control over. And it's really difficult. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Send me video recommendations so I don't film sad sit-down videos. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.